Um, I feel pretty content with the decision. I think I'm really grateful for the career that I've had. I've enjoyed the whole time I've been around and part of, of the sport and it's been quite a while now. I think it's 27, 28 years, so it's a long time. And it got to the point where I started struggling a little bit with my back at the start of the year and had a few scans and I needed to take some time to recover the body. And it's, it's that time when you start thinking, okay, I think my body's starting to give me some signs now that maybe 28 years is enough jumping. Um, and I think because I'm grateful for everything I've achieved and I've given everything that I could possibly give that I felt like I was walking away proud and having achieved all those things that I've got no regrets with what I've done. And it just felt like a nice time to maybe start moving into the next chapter. Well, I've started a new role recently at British Gymnastics. So I am the Performance Services Officer um, for Tumbling and Double Mini. So that keeps me involved in the TNT world. So I get to still obviously be part of that world, but on a slightly different note. And trampolining will always be my big passion. I did double mini when I was younger and I know a lot of the people in those sports. So being able to still be part of that world and help and contribute, I think is what I'm excited about. When I first started the sport, we weren't even an Olympic sport at that time. And I just did it because it was fun. And I got to, I guess the, the adrenaline rush was what first got me involved and I'm very competitive and obviously once I found the competition side of it and once we became Olympic things started changing a little bit more and then we went through a phase of some quite rocky times in the sport and some things that potentially all of us contributed to not being great at the time and we were lucky that the group that we had were quite vocal and were quite adamant that change needed to happen um, and so we voiced I guess those concerns we had and it's been a very long process and it's taken a lot of time to get to where we are now and I think we've got an incredible programme now and we've been able to lead a lot of the change we want because ultimately the athletes are the core of what's happening in the programme. So Tracy's been instrumental in kind of making us people before athletes and then asking what we want to do that can improve it and trying to mould it around our individual needs but also the needs of the programme for trampolining and then the needs of British Gymnastics as well. So. Yeah, it's been, it's been a long process um, and it hasn't all been smooth sailing, but we've had the people that the passion of the sport and the love of the sport has always been underneath it. And we've been able to kind of find our way through it to, like I say, like I've, I love being part of the programme now. And yeah, those people have kind of been the most instrumental people in making me who I am and, and developing me as a person and someone I'm proud to be today. It's been phenomenal. It's been a roller coaster of a journey that I guess I never. Ooh, um, <laughs> okay. I guess I didn't think I'd get here and I would walk away as a two time Olympian. Um, they all felt like dreams that weren't necessarily achievable. But I'm just thankful that my family have supported me in a way that they've never pushed me. They've just supported everything I've ever wanted to do. And my mum and dad have never missed a major championships. They've been to every single world and world age that I've done since 1998. And they've always said to me, we'll support whatever you want to do. And if at any time you want to walk away or you don't want to do it anymore, that's the day that that's fine. You tell us and we'll support you in whatever comes next. I don't want my career to be defined by the medals and the things I've won, which doesn't mean I'm not proud of them or they're not huge successes, but I feel like the person that, I, that I've grown up to become is what I feel like is the biggest achievement from sport because I was quite a moody, sulky, naughty little kid that like just was really stubborn and didn't accept help from people and thought I could do everything on my own. And I think the moment that all changed for me was the day I started working with Tracy. She has just been phenomenal for me and has completely turned my career around and, and made me believe things can be achieved that I guess I always dreamed I could do, but they felt like a dream, whereas she helped me realise that they could actually be a reality and how do you get to that? So I think just the person I've become and the way I've grown and, and become more open-minded and just open to change and not resistant to it all like I was as a kid probably is the thing I'm most proud of. But from a sports side in competitiveness, I guess London will never be beaten by anything. I think competing in home Olympic Games in front of 16,000 people and regardless of the results, the process we went through to get there and that like being there part of it is never going to be beaten on an individual note. But if I'm thinking of as a team, then 2013 Worlds, when we won the world team title, I think will always be one of my favourite days I'd love to go back and relive because we don't get a lot of team stuff. So when we get to do it and just like share that success between everyone, that just felt like a really special day because 
everybody's individual performances contribute to that but everybody gets to share in the successes because it's something we're all doing together and normally if you you do well or say like at the Olympics it's all about you and what you contribute and it's just really nice to share that kind of moment on the floor where you're truly all together and like wanting all everyone to kind of do the best routine they've ever done in their life because you can then celebrate that all together with your team at the end is is quite special.